You're watching Good Day Central Illinois on WYZZ. Welcome back to Good Day Central Illinois. Tales of a Bookworm, a nonprofit bookstore in Pekin, is celebrating its fifth anniversary this weekend. And today we're joined by one of their featured authors, Joe Chinakis, to tell us more about the event as well as an update on his most recent book. We have Singlets and Secrets right here. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you for being here. So, first of all, Tales of, of a Bookworm in Pekin, of course, is hosting this five year fest. And you're going to be there. Yes. If you've never been to Tales of a Bookworm, this Saturday is the day to go. It's not just me. They have 20 other authors there. Wow. Plus 20 other vendors or 25 other vendors. It's a huge fair. There's going to be merchandise, arts, crafts, and of course, lots and lots of books, but also adoptable animals, both cats and dogs. It's a huge event celebrating their fifth year anniversary, and they just won a, an award, the James Patterson Award. It's a, such a cool bookstore. I just encourage everyone to check it out. It's kind of perfect timing, too, because we have Mother's Day on Sunday, so it's perfect time to get your, your a mother or somebody you know who's a mom a, a book. Why not? They have some of the most unique gifts, I'll tell you that. So it's more than just books. They have collectibles and everything. There you go. Even better. Now, for those who don't know, what is your most recent book here, Singlets and Secrets, about? This is my love story. <laughs> I, I just, I'm so happy that Singlets and Secrets continues to do well. It's a number one LGBTQ bestseller, but at its core, it's a love story. It's about a guy who falls for another guy who stands up for him against hate, and it becomes sort of that will they, won't they, is he even, you know, that kind of love story. But it's framed in this huge action adventure. It's ultimately, at the end, we're going to put these two main characters in this martial arts action adventure where the two actually have to face each other. And so it's like, how do you ever fight your true love? So right. it's a story that's layered with heart and romance and twists and turns and action. And I'm just really excited. It's still kicking away. It's, it sounds like a fantastic book. Thank you. Now, how have you taken your life and how has that helped you create a book like this? I started out uh, get going into the martial arts when I was a young kid. You know, I mean, I experienced, like a lot of young people, I experienced some bullying. I turned to martial arts for confidence and strength. But again, back in the, well, when I went to those schools when I was a little kid, you know, maybe they weren't quite as progressive as today, or there was always a little bit of homophobia here or there. I wanted to write a story where people felt seen and represented. And so I took my experiences and decided to make an inclusive martial arts action romance that really celebrates the underdog and the outsider that I hope anybody could connect to. Now, like you said, you're talking about the martial arts here. And what is so, so cool, for those of you who don't know, you recently received an endorsement from the creator of Cobra Kai. Yeah, this, I like fell out of my chair reading, the, <laughs> reading this message. It was the coolest day of my life, right? I mean, I've been a Karate Kid fan since 1984, all right? And when Cobra Kai came out, I was, I swear, the first one to watch all the episodes. You know, I'm right there. <laughs> I messaged the creator. This is genius. This is brilliant. I love what you're doing. And I've been a fan from day one. So it inspired me. Cobra Kai actually inspired in part the series as much as I love the show you know, there's not a lot of LGBTQ representation. So I wrote the story I always wanted to read or always wanted to see. And I shared that enthusiastically with the Cobra Kai creators because I am such fans. And then the Cobra Kai creator, the guy who wrote Harold and Kumar, American Pie Reunion, Obliterated, Plan B, Blockers, he's got this huge list, wow. endorsed my little Singlets and Secrets novel. And now it just, it feels like it's the top of the world because who knows what might happen next. Right. It's just really cool when one of your heroes sees you for what you're trying to do. And it's just, it's amazing. I can't even imagine the feeling. Yeah. Now, before we go, we want people to get your book and, you know, see you tomorrow. So if you can give us the details where they can purchase a book and how they can attend the event tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow it's at Sunset Plaza in Pekin. The event is 12 to 5. Uh, it's Tales of a Bookworm is right there. In, uh, on Court Street, but they have a whole different area set up for the authors, so you'll see some signs there. I mean, there's going to be 20 vendors out there, and there's going to be 25 plus authors. So you get yourself to Sunset Plaza in Pekin on Court Street tomorrow, Saturday, 12 to 5. It's going to be a great time. Amazing. It sounds like such a fun opportunity, and why not go? I mean, there's really no reason not to, but Joe, I want to thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you so much for having me. I'm just so excited to be able to share this with others, and I appreciate so much your support. Of course, of course. And now all these details will be put up on our website, CI Proud. Dot com.